Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Bell Me Cherry is here. You guys see the vibe. You see what's happening here. You see this look. I'm giving y'all color and the feel of beige matte, beige matte type of situation. I'm bringing in sunshine. I'm bringing in sunset. I'm bringing in color. I'm bringing in love. The love vibe, the love colors into all that mixture. If you want to see how the full face and the whole process, which palette was used, stay tuned and enjoy watching. <laughs> thinking of stuff to do to create to just get inspired listen uh i thought i would just come and create a look using this rick and morty palette from glam light i will input when this palette came out sometimes last year or early last year um we did find this for the low low you know where we're at um and um i thought i'd come and put this palette to great use if you're new here welcome do subscribe join the crew you get to see more looks of this to come or you've already have a list of products like this from other products being used and created giving y'all different looks every now and then here and there um so do join and subscribe and join the family it'll do me a great deal um and for those who've been rocking through and true to me with me thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so without further ado we're gonna you know cut it down short and sweet here we already have the brows done we're gonna get this look popping and i'm gonna go ahead and create a look inspired to uh similar to my last video i'll put a link of that up top for you guys i'm in the mood of creating different valentine's pink situation around the eye type of look so this palette has quite a few of pink shades like these this four here i'm looking towards to using it actually this whole starting here this whole situation right here is what i'm gonna focus the look around perhaps some of these white looking shades that may not be so white because there might be um iridescent with different color shifting to it like this one has a blue this one has a pinkish one but on the palette they look white and they are super cute probably gonna pop that on the lid to give us some va va boom situation so we have the eyes prepped up i have concealer on the lid and i prep it up with a clear translucent powder to give us a nice smooth layer to blend um let's see first shade unfortunately this rick and morty palette has no names the shades have no names glam light knows better by now come on i'm not sure if this palette is still um available on their website i will look and put the link if it is if not then we already know that we may just find it at tj maxx and marshall's just as i found this one um and you may be able to grab it on your side of town um we're gonna go ahead and start with some shades here i'm gonna go ahead and use a nice taper brush this is from the Mika X Morphe or Nikita X Morphe N5 brush for the crease. I'm going to go ahead and start with this yellow. And oh, yes. Oh, they have these black. Or this might be just greenish undertone. But looking at it, it looks black. But they have a black shade in here. That's awesome. We can definitely deepen any type of matte shades with that. So we're gonna go ahead and use this to start. Let me zoom y'all closer. This shade ironically is identical to the brush color. That's kind of cute. So we're gonna focus that. I miss doing 
bright colorful look you guys this is probably gonna be one of those it's probably gonna be up there with the colors today although nowadays people don't do colorful eyeshadow looks no more everybody has a boring just neutral shade on looking all the same not sure what what was that about but i pop a color here and there and i like it still so this is what the shade looks like we're gonna keep it focused on that outer v like, using deep shades like so you may want to start with a very small even smaller than this um type of brush to focus that exactly what you want because this could easily take your look left all right so we're gonna leave that there with the same brush i'm gonna go ahead and use this shade so we use this one looking like this we're gonna go ahead and go to the lighter the next lighter shade to it which is gonna be this and then take either that one and this one and until we get to the inner part and brighten the like we're gonna start with our darker shades and then lighting it up as we finishing with the lid I'm gonna change the brush I'm gonna use this another one similar shape though but the top is a little flatter uh, from BBE 04 that was a cheap deal I got from Burlington I believe um, that one It blends beautifully you guys this same brush we're gonna go into this other shade right here that one on the outer V I mean the tip or the end of all the shades to kind of diffuse all that purpley shade we got going on we're gonna build that up right here Okay, our next pink shade is this one. I'm gonna put that one all over the lid. It might look like, you know, chaos to start, but we're gonna fix it. We're gonna put that all over the lid. Oh my God, look how pretty. literally it somewhat self blend itself i didn't have to do much at all all right um i'm gonna go back to the deeper shade just to intensify all of what we got going blend that into the pink as well i don't even need to use the black with this shade going with nothing else on this to blend the inner or the mid part of this these two to meeting with each other all right so we do that the brow bone we're just gonna put a little bit of something to the on there not too crazy we have these peachy shades over here as matte shade I'm not gonna use this but we're probably gonna dust that on the brow bone lightly um i'm gonna use this one let's brush off whatever you know what let me just use the brush that i set the eyes with i'm just gonna lightly dab into that peachy shade and just brush over so it's just not we just so we don't have skin and thin shades you know we'll just have a layer of different shade range look how pretty that is it's 
also serving as a blending or translucent type of thing. I pushed the, all the shades up to the brow. I wish I had more lid shade, lid lid space. I don't, but um, we'll make the best with what we got. You guys, I did all this on nothing. I was not filming. My camera was not rolling. So I don't know what it took, what it didn't take, but we are here now. <laughs> Just to recap, I use this, these two shimmers, this one, and that one on the outer part, the inner part, and then a little bit with this shade that looks like this on the outer part to meet with the um, first shimmer on the lid. And um, I'm planning on using the black on the outer part of the waterline and uh, diffuse that with either this shade or that shade just to bring the under eye together. However, right now we're gonna go ahead and focus on the, the base of the face. So we're gonna go ahead and use these Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundations. They've been sitting here waiting on me to use. Um, so we're really gonna pop the seal together. I have two shades. One is in the shade 88 deep and 1074 i did swatch myself at um the store i know my shade is between 78 and was it 80 around there i couldn't find the shades that match me to the t but we're gonna go ahead and mix these two together and call it a day and this is what they both look like a tinsy bit darker, a tinsy bit lighter, but together they are perfection. On my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use no other than my e.l.f. I just did a 360. I planned on doing, I was planning on using all drugstore on the face, but that good apple foundation just looked at me real stupid like are you really gonna skip me again and go use products you've already used when i'm sitting here waiting on you to use me so i just went and grabbed it i just went and obey to the demand okay so we have these two shades um nice pop nice packaging one of um i have my good old friend here on youtube i hope she's still following me i don't know if she's still following me or not but she did recommend this foundation when it first came out shout out to you girl um and i you know i was just being cheap because i'm like girl let me just wait it'll pop up at the store sooner or later so this is shade 72 right this is what it looks like on me and this is 10. <laughs> what does it say? This says 10, 10, 74. Definitely not my shade. Girl, what are you doing? And this is the deep one. Also not my shade. Listen, we gotta. So this is the deep one. Let's mix the two together. One pump of this or two. And one pump of that or two, so two pump of each, maybe three of the, of this. And watch the magic happen. And we got this, look at this perfection. Look at this masterpiece. It's just, ha! perfection. You guys, let's, don't worry about the mess on this. We'll cover it up. Y'all see the magic of these two shades together for me that I just put together? 
You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. This is color. Um, how you say that? Color match perfection. Color match perfection. I know. I know a little bit of this. But wait, oh, enough rumbling though. I'm putting this foundation on. You guys, this is beautiful. I'm always so damn late to the party. Thank you guys. I have you being so patient and so loving. I have a really good loving team here. Not team, but friends here on YouTube. Y'all are not, y'all don't bring the drama. And I like that. And I don't think I do come with any drama either. I just created my perfect match, perfect undertone, perfect everything with these two. Oh my God. I don't regret buying these. I got more for my, my buck, okay? So listen, we got this beautiful coverage beautiful feeling oh my god don't feel like nothing i should have listened to y'all when you mentioned me by you know using this because at that time i was i found the older one from tj max and marshall and i was using that at that time i think i put a video of that up top here for y'all to see around that time probably two years ago or a year ago but this though i was missing out I was missing out. It is like a soft matte. It's not too drying. It is beautiful. Maybe I could even use this darker shade as like a light bronzer around the face and stuff. I sure can. Mm, it's sheared out a little bit, but Y'all see what I mean. Yeah, it did something. It did something. I can... Let me go put a little more. It is uh, really um, liquidy. Yeah, I could definitely focus that around the perimeter of my face. But we definitely did that with the coverage, with the matching and everything. So that's that. I didn't even use my sponge for this. It just went into my skin so perfectly, so beautifully. It doesn't feel like I have any excess of anything on my face. So kudos to this, man. Listen, that was a great, that was a great find. Um going back to my everyday drugstore idea situation i am pulling out these um concealers from revolution the irl filter i have not been using my revelation stuff you know this year round the goal is to use my product and i also notice that this video of my last IRL uh, combination pro um, video that I did is really popular here on my channel. I'm so thankful for you guys loving that video. Keep watching it and hope you guys get to keep watching this one as well. So we're gonna go ahead and blend that out. I'm gonna use the, the sponge. This time, this shade I just use is C12 and I'm gonna mix it with no wait so i use on my face right now c13.5 and i'm gonna mix that up with c12 which is a little bit lighter let me put a little more of this where i need 
I'm probably gonna keep fast forwarding this part of this video because you already know how I normally do my face. And um, what comes next with the steps. And I don't wanna do two videos as if I should've, you know, you know what I mean. I'm gonna include everything like I've been doing. You guys get to see the eyes of whole shebang. This time we're gonna go ahead and fast forward. So just enjoy watching. I need to set my face first. What am I doing? I could have used a different brush, but I decided to just keep it going. But let's go back to our bronzing. Right now, going back to finish the lower lash line, um, we're gonna go ahead and use, I would like to use the blush instead. Um, let's get to the black shade. I'm gonna go ahead and get this black shade on the right line. Tighten that up real quick. I kind of did a 
boo boo there. I didn't want it to curve into the top. I wanted to keep it sharp. Um, we know how we normally correct that. Let me see if I can use a setting powder real quick. Okay, so we did that. We're looking nice and um, it says matte, but I noticed my face just done got dewy on me. Mattifying long wear make makeup mixing spray, but I'm looking matte. I'm looking juicy. What do you guys see? Comment below. Let me know. I mean, this is not a tricky question to get you guys to comment. I really, 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 really want to know what y'all be thinking on the other side of the screen, okay? Because you do this a little too long, you start you start questioning yourself as to, are you crazy? Are you here out here by yourself? Or what? Are they really paying attention? Are they just clicking and going? Is anybody engaging? Except for a few of you guys, I noticed or really have been engaging with me and I truly like if y'all don't know how much I appreciate that on the inner part here I'm gonna go and um, go with the other shade this one that has the bluish or purplish reflection I'm just gonna pop it right on the middle here just for a little bit of contrast and brightness like that and catch somebody's eyes in that little inner part here that's pretty we don't gotta do too much but we just did us something okay guys this time let me go off screen do a little wing, put my lashes and my lips, and I'll be back. Here we have it. We already know the drill. It's nothing new. It's just different shades, different products. But the concept, the base, the, the process is somewhat the same. We have this face going for... Valentine's look. I think I am the only one creating Valentine's look nowadays. Like, I don't see any videos posted on that. Um, to get the trend back on track. You know. Okay, on the lips, we have a Morphe lip gloss in the shade Pop. And NYX um, liner in the shade... Club, oh my god, I used to use this so much. Club Hopper. And I filled in all of my lips with this an Anastasia Raisin shade. It wasn't dark enough to line the perimeter of my lips. So I filled the inner part and I put the gloss and I put the liner and everything. And we have this going. So hope you guys enjoyed this look. I surely did. This is supposed to be a mixture of things, drugstores, KVD that I never used and just sat there and decided to use it. Love, 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 love. The feeling of it. Y'all see the? <laughs> Yo, I love this. I didn't do too much on the cheek due to the eyes we got popping, but we see a little bit of something with the lips, the cheeks, the, the eyes a little bit, the under eye and everything. You see the relationship going. It's not like no one's fighting with each other. Everything is nice and mellow and mixed in well with, on top of this foundation that was just magical mixture of effect on my you know skin tone i'm enjoying this i i'm i'm full of, i'm full of myself right now let me just get out of here thank you once again subscribe if you haven't done so 
um and um and come back for some more there should be other videos on the side here for you guys to enjoy and i'll see you on another one